This plastination uh, is an important one. We see some more structures. The muscles of the face are enough with this. The orbicular is oculi. Here we see the zygomaticus major, zygomaticus minor. We have levator labii superioris, levator labii superioris aliquinesi. We have orbicularis oris, orbicularis oris. We have uh, depressor uh, anguli oris, depressor labii inferioris, and we have mentalis. This V shaped muscle, mentalis. This is the masseter, masseter muscle, and this is the temporal, temporalis. This is the temporalis muscle. Okay. Mm. We have some uh, muscles in the neck as well. This is the omohyoid muscle, omohyoid. This is the superior belly of the omohyoid, and we can see this is the inferior belly of omohyoid. Okay. This comes from the sternum to the hyoid bone. So oh, this is the sternohyoid muscle. Sternohyoid muscle. Here again, sternohyoid muscle. This muscle is sternothyroid. This one is sternothyroid. You can remove this. This is the thyroid cartilage. And you can see from the sternum to the thyroid, this is sternothyroid. Mm -hmm. We have uh, sternocleidomastoid. This is the sternocleidomastoid. This also is a part of the origin. Sternocleidomastoid. And the uh, suprahyoid muscles. We have anterior belly of digastric. Anterior belly of digastric. And we have posterior belly of digastric. This is the posterior belly of digastric. That muscle is the mylohyoid. Mylohyoid muscle. Um, this is the stylohyoid muscle. This is the stylohyoid muscle. Stylohyoid. Mm. So, enough with the muscles, some uh, the nerves and the arteries. First, we may start with the nerves and arteries of the head. This is suprastrochlear nerve supratrochlear nerve of course with it supratrochlear artery this is supraorbital nerve and with the supraorbital artery supraorbital artery supratrochlear supraorbital nerve um, most more we have this uh, so if, uh, we will study the nerves this is the these are the branches of the facial nerve because they are emerging from the parotid, uh, parotid gland. You see, this is the parotid gland. This is the duct of the parotid gland. The most superior, superior branches of the facial. This is the temporal branch. Not this. This is an artery. This is the temporal branch of the facial. These are the zygomatic branches, buccal branches of the facial. We have marginal, mandibular. These are the mandibular branches. And if you focus, this is the cervical branch. This one. It's coming from the parotid, so this is the cervical branch of the facial nerve. For buccal, we have another buccal branch. We said this is the buccal branch of the facial nerve. It's, uh, it carries motor innervation. But for buccal, we also have, I can relate to it, here, uh, it has another buccal uh, nerve. That's the sensory, it's branch of the trigeminal nerve. Here, uh, I will talk about the branch of the cervical plexus formed by the anterior ramus, anterior rami of C1, C2, C3, and C4. Uh, it forms by the anterior ramus of C2, it forms the lesser occipital nerve. Lesser occipital nerve. This is the lesser occipital nerve. Anterior ramus of C2. And then we have the uh, great auricular. This is the great auricular. It goes to the angle of the mandible. Great auricular. The great auricular is formed by the branch of the by the anterior rami of C2 and C3. Great auricular. This is the lesser occipital. We have these muscles. These three are the supraclavicular muscles. You can see supraclavicular muscles. These are the supraclavicular muscles. 
nerves. Uh, nerves, sorry, supraclavicular uh, nerves. I think they are C3 and C4. Anterior rimas, rima of C3 and C4. Again, here is more visible. You can see this is the supraclavicular nerves. Supraclavicular. And then we have transverse, transverse cervical. Maybe this is the transverse cervical. Or here, transverse cervical nerves. Not this. These are the transverse cervical. This is the transverse cervical nerve. It's the anterior ramus of C3. And this nerve on the back of the head, this is the great occipital nerve, is by the uh, uh, posterior ramus of C2. Posterior ramus of C2. So this is not a branch of the uh, cervical plexus. Okay, these are the posterior rami of the cervical nerves. And we have this. This is the uh, trapezius muscle. This is the trapezius muscle. This is the stenocleomasoid between them. This is the spinal accessory nerve. Or just the accessory nerve supplying both. The, these are the branches of the string, uh, brachial plexus. Branch, uh, branch of the trunks or the, of the brachial plexus. So this is the scalene medius. Scalene medius muscle. Because the trunks of the brachial plexus are located between the med uh, scalene medius and scalene anterior. So you can say this is scalene anterior. No, sorry. No, this is a branch of the sternocleidomasoid. Scalene anterior. This may be it. Oh, on this side, it's not much visible. But anyways, this is the medius. We can say this is the scalene posterior. Scalene posterior. This is splenius capitis. We can differentiate, uh, make a line between them. Uh, semispinalis capitis and then splenius capitis. Okay, this is the levator scapulae. This muscle, levator scapulae. And you can see this is the posterior uh, scalene muscle. We said middle. This is posterior. This one. Okay, this is the tendon of the myla, my um, omohyoid. It must be here, the nerve is not shown, and we have some more veins. Uh, this vein is the retromandibular vein. This is the retromandibular vein, which is formed by the uh, superficial and the maxillary veins. Retromandibular vein, and then it becomes the external jugular vein. Okay, becomes the external jugular vein with the posterior auricular draining back to it. Uh -huh. And then we have the, some more, this is, and let's start with the carotid artery. The, before that, this is the internal jugular vein, internal. This is the internal jugular vein. If you remove that, you see this is the common carotid artery. Okay, common carotid artery. It becomes two branches. External and internal. I guess this is the site of bifurcation if you see that groove. Internal and external branches. A branch of it, this is the facial artery. Facial artery. A branch of the external carotid artery. Facial artery. We have this. Maybe this is the, uh, they call it, this is nerve to myelohyoid. Uh, artery to myelohyoid, maybe. Artery to myelohyoid. Artery to myelohyoid. This is the submandibular uh, gland. Submandibular gland. And then we have this branch. This is the uh, first branch of the uh, external carotid artery. This is the superior thyroid artery. Superior thyroid artery. Okay. Mm. Some more. If we see a nerve between the internal jugular and the carotid artery, maybe this is it. This is the vagus. This nerve is the vagus nerve. Let's remove that. Vagus nerve. Okay, and we may see this is the superficial temporal artery, the terminating branch, one of the terminating branches of the external carotid artery. And then deep to here, we may see the, extra, the maxillary artery. It's not very visible. No, it's, you cannot see it. This is posterior auricular artery another branch of the external carotid artery. 
posterior auricular. Okay, occipital artery. You see, maybe this is the occipital artery. Not very uh, much shown. That's it.